Our top story tonight, after two recent accidents where men were hit walking across Pinone Avenue, a Macon woman says she has had enough. The first last Wednesday when 65-year-old Richard Smith was treated at Navicent Health after being hit. Then on Sunday, 64-year-old Johnny Arnold Sr. was struck and killed. Sarah Hammond joins us live to tell us why Mary Glass says it's time for these accidents to stop. Yeah, when Mary Glass heard her friend and neighbor Johnny Arnold was hit and killed here on this street, she came out and made this sign that says stop pedestrian killings on Pinona Avenue. We need help. How many have to die? die like Nobody deserves to die on Pinona Avenue. Mary Glass has lived at the Economy Hotel for the last year. She says during that time she'd gotten to know Johnny Arnold Sr. who died Sunday night. There's nothing I could do about him getting killed. But I know I can do something out to his aftermath, and that's try to help others out here. So she made this sign to bring attention to the problem. Glass says they have to cross the street to be able to use their food stamps, but there is no crosswalk in sight. All these people around here know this place is dangerous. Bibb County Coroner Leon Jones says seven pedestrians have been hit and killed so far this year around Macon. Only one has died on this road, but he says three other people were hit. Bibb County Commissioner Elaine Lucas agrees that Pionona, Gray Highway, and Eisenhower Parkway are dangerous for pedestrians. The responsibility doesn't just fall on the walker, but it falls on those who are driving to be as safe that they, as they possibly can. She says Bibb County's Pedestrian Safety Review Board is working to get the Georgia Department of Transportation to do more traffic studies on these major highways. The goal is to add crosswalks and caution lights. Anything that happens that's new construction or upgrades in the community, you're going to see new pedestrian safety features. She says getting those in place on older roads and intersections takes a little more time. Uh, those places where we need uh, these fe these uh, features placed and go ahead and implement them. It's a long, drawn-out process, but we're committed to it. Lucas says the county does have money set aside for pedestrian safety projects like the roundabout that's going in on Eisenhower Parkway and Fulton Mill Road. But in the meantime, Glass says she is begging drivers to slow down. Live in Macon, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Thanks, Sarah. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office estimated vehicles hit 100 people in 2019.